ना ओके गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग एंड वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली टू ऑल ऑफ यू फ्रॉम हेल्थ वेल्थ ग्रुप एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर हैप्पी दिवाली एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कैंड जॉइन दिस दिवाली हेज स्टार्टेड एंड एज यूर हियरिंग द बैकग्राउंड नॉइस I hope all of you are able to receive my Pressing the event URL under the Facebook events so that people who can't see it in our group can uh, click on this and they can join this small uh, talk on uh, the roundup of. the week for health is wealth so here is the post i have created please go to the health is wealth post or my account also call us bro and you can just type on that i think i have shared an event and you please see this and just click on it and i'm sure you can join I don't know whether you can see my comments. And anyway, this week it was a very eventful week, and we had a uh, lot of good posts. And I thank everyone who has participated in this series of contests that we have every day. So I don't know if the chat setting is on. When you are not, I'd like to know that anybody has joined or not. Kindly comment. I am just going to give a yeah. Devaki Agarwal. Trying to call Dr. Kari Devaki Agarwal, who is actually the topper of uh, today's this week's. Uh, Calling but it's not ringing, so most likely she's not there. She's not coming. Then I'll give a call to Lakshman Ji. I hope he's there. Invitation, sir. I'm trying to contact our colleagues if they're there or not, so that they can join the talk. Most of our busy is supposed. He's not there either. Maybe Lakshman Ji is there. I can see a green light on. Is the yes now invitation that we see and I hope he'll respond now. Hello.
Okay. Here is yes. Yeah, there are now already two viewers and welcome uh, to reactions also. Okay. Help me get a thousand followers. Thanks to everyone who helped. Okay. If you can just go to this. Oh yes, this is Dr. Venkatesh Srinivasan talking. Hello? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I'm on video. Where is your video? Okay. What you do one thing, you go to the Facebook group, you know, and then click on that. I just posted one thing there. Oh, okay. You just you click on that and you will join. Okay. You've seen it. Okay. So. I think many more people will join now because we just passed. I think three people have given their insights and reactions. But I can't see them. So, yes, the frame rate is a little slow, so bear with me. Ah, hi, sir. Lakshman Ji, Garu. Yeah, <laughs> glad that you're here. Lakshman Ji, welcome. And I don't know whether I can hear you or not. I don't know why I can't hear you. You can, Amadusudan Rao Garu. Welcome, welcome. Nice uh, seeing your comment here. And uh, I think a few more comments there. So, welcome to this week's sum up or what happened this week, or uh, what, who got the prizes and all. That's what we're going to discuss today. As you know, the winner is none other than Devaki Yagandagaru, who has uh, got the highest rankings. That means she had the highest credits last time. But just uh, uh, five credits more than, 50 credits more than uh, the nearest rival, Akhil Pandey. I congratulate both of them, especially Dr. Devaki Yagalagaru for record, breaking the records because she's got 1150 points this time and this is a record for this group so far as far as the credits are concerned because I think the topmost uh, earlier it was Ainala Prabhakar who had, who had 950 credits when he got the Golden Throne Award in the earlier credits. But now that with more features every day, the scope for higher credits. And uh, both Devaki Agarla and Akhil Pahade, both of them have uh, reached uh, or breached the thousand mark. And uh, Devaki Agarla, of course, is leading with 1100 credits, and Akhil Pahade is just a little behind 1050. And the cash price of because 1,000 rupees, which is peanuts for an NRI like Devaki Agarla, is, is going to Devaki Agarla. Unfortunately, I can't try to, also, although she seems to be online because uh, I see a green mark against her name in Messenger, but I can't seem to I even try to call her. But uh, people who are aware of uh, Devaki Agarla know her to be a very active member of Facebook. She actually lives in Los Angeles, California. I talked to her when I was in Los Angeles, although I couldn't meet her. And she studied international business law at Andhra University in Vizek. She belongs to the Gadawadi districts and uh, she is uh, staying in Los Angeles. And what I learned is she is a practicing immigration lawyer. That is, she helps people to migrate to lawyer. Even if they have any problems migrating to Yes, she helps them and she has a tremendous uh, knowledge not only about law, of course, both Indian law and U.S. law, of course, and she also has this uh, ability to interact with people and how to... Hello, when patients are very nice. Volume is low. Okay. How is now volume now? 
I don't know how to increase it, but I don't know. Maybe hello? Am I audible? Venkate Lakshman sir. Lakshman sir, am I am I audible? But I can't seem to listen to any of you. I mean, uh, I'll just try to paste the. I am again attaching the copy paste thing here so that if you can click here, probably you can directly enter the. Yeah, I have put a link in the statements here. So if you can probably switch on that, you might uh, maybe you can join our discussion here and then because I'd like to have uh, the feedback of uh, as many people as possible. Okay, so coming to our own uh, health is wealth, the toppers of this week have been apart from Devaki and Akhil. Lakshmanji got the third rank with 700 credits and next went, comes Jalil Muhammad from Nellore. Lakshmanji is from Mysore, he's an ex-banker as you know. And Jalil is a doctor practicing for the past 40 years at Nellore. And our grand old genius, genius senior, Venkateshan Srinivasan got the fourth rank or fifth rank. And uh, Ainala Prabhakar for some reason has not participated in many con contests, otherwise he would have been much higher. And Madhusudan Rao Garu and Girish Baskar and uh, Surprisingly, and not surprisingly, uh, wife of, uh, I am really grateful to Mamillapalli Vijay Lakshmi who has taken a great part in our uh, contest so far and she has also won a lot of credits and she has got as many as 300 credits in the first uh, attempt. And Shamla Nuri, Chaganti Vishwanath, Radha Chada, and Nagamani Uma Swami, Sandeep Kadali, Kasturi, Metapalli, and Sheshaki Dravgaru are in the other positions. And I'm very glad that so many people are participating in the contests because daily cons is something which is a unique concept because I devised it to make people think because the idea of education is not just direct lecture. That's my concept. And uh, people who, are, uh, who learn by themselves learn more. First, we got the crossword puzzle. Today's uh, solution for crossword was porphyrias. The topic was porphyrias, and uh, as many as six people have attempted and given solutions. I thank every one of them, and only one of them get the all perfect solutions, all the perfect words. But the word actually is very difficult to understand because quandary is self as well. Because I couldn't get near the name, and there's a word to put there, so I had to put an odd word there. And it was very great that uh, Nagarmani Garu has got that uh, word and others couldn't get it. But otherwise also, most of the people got the, all the words correctly, equate portfolios. And as I told you, the clue to solving puzzles is to look for the easiest word that you can pick up and then uh, go from there. Of course, I had we had so many great, great posts, especially by Mahindra Raju Garu. Raj Mahen, as we know him, from Bangalore, and uh, he had the best credit awards on the particular yesterday. And uh, we have a joke also here. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm a doctor, not your husband. So most people, women, when they say nothing, it means something. And then a lot of posts about. Uh, I'm now discussing about the posts that have appeared from retrogradely from now to the backside, and. Here is the medical riddle of the day, of yesterday actually. This is a little difficult because uh, I made it difficult so that some, only some people, the best people can be recognized. And the riddle is made from the fat cell, reduce the fat swell, boost your content, yet slice your content. So this is like a little um, tricky because the word content repeats itself and in both contexts, the meaning of content is different. In fact, even the spelling, even the way you pronounce it is also different. If you mean content, they got, such words are called homonyms. And thanks to my father, I'm able to recollect some English here. And content is uh, another meaning. 
Content means to be content, that means to be satiated. The hormone of satiety is left in. That is the answer for this riddle. And satiety is content. But it is content means something which is contained, that is what is inside the body. For example, slice your content, that means your size, the size of your body is reduced. So with the character of leptin, actually that happens. So that is the... And there are a lot of uh, replies for what stays the same size no matter how much they weigh. Because there was some problem with the solid, so the puzzle itself. But anyway, and a lot of uh, replies, as many as 26 comments were made. And the best was by Mamil Pali Vijay Lakshmi Garu. And she got the credits for this. And of course, Lakshmanji, Shivakumar, Shivakumar also. It's very rare for uh, three people from the same family got credits in the same uh, contest. I'm really grateful to all three. And uh, that was about the brain tweezer. Because I'm not calling it as brain teaser, but brain tweezer. Because in brain teaser, you have only one answer. Here, we have so many possible answers. And most of you, so much imagination that you've given me some very exotic and out-of-the-box replies. Am I audible, Lakshmanji? I'm not able to listen to anybody. I don't know what's happening. But I wonder if I'm audible to anybody. Hello, sir? Nobody is replying. No? I'll just try to talk to Lakshmanji on phone. Is he visible, available? Is he in the group? I'm trying to contact him so that uh, I'll get some feedback. Hello? No, no, no response, no response. I don't know whether it's because of the live audio or not. Anyway, the same thing comments so far. I'm very glad, at least some people, they are uh, utilizing this opportunity to communicate in a way. Yeah. Shanta Lakshmi Muthu Krishna. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Okay now. Okay. So I'm audible. Yeah, Mr. Akhil Pahade. That's very good. Good question. I'll try to know what is Akhil Pahade. I mean, uh, I don't know him personally, but I tried to contact him yesterday, but I, is he not available? I think uh, Akhil is a doctor, of course. And I think he is from north, from his, uh, yeah, yeah, Akhil Pahade, he's not even my friend, so maybe I can't, uh, uh, he's a, he's locked his profile, unfortunately, even, I can't even see his uh, photograph, because I'm not his friend, I'm adding him as friend, maybe then I can see him, but Dr. Akhil apparently is a surgeon, because he's wearing a surgeon's suit, and um, he's uh, a very handsome fellow. <laughs> Good. I, mean, I wish he had joined us and I'm very grateful to him for having participated in the all such contests. So not much is known until he reveals himself. So Mr. Akhil, the invisible. So very nice that uh, there's a question about that. Okay, uh, I'm glad that uh, you're able to see me. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think among the comments, then uh, there's so many questions. Jay Lakshmi Garu. Yeah, let me know about. We are watching but not able to contact. Yeah, that's what's the problem. I don't know where I should, where it went from. Because have you clicked on the uh, copy and then paste? I'm trying to copy paste these things. Whether you can, if you can click on this. Uh, I just pasted something on the uh, on the comment section. So if you can click on it, maybe we can get more comments and more like I mean, more reactions. Then coming to the what happened last week, the posts, uh, the one uh, recent drug which uh, actually helps people with dyspareunia. I had a lot of uh, discussion because it is to do something with a very common problem that most of us ignore. Uh, most of our patients also don't tell us. This drug is called uh, Osfema or 
ospermifin. This is uh, SSRI, uh, what is called SERM, serotonin endothelium. It's a drug which actually, okay, Shamna Nuri Madam says, Sir, I personally feel instead of risking one's health, is it not better to abstain from sex for some time? How long? Oh God. I mean, uh, this is a question which uh, is not, I mean, which needs answering. Because many people think that sex after 40 is forbidden. It's not like that. In fact, sex is very good for health. And uh, people who do sex or who, who keep doing sex for uh, long periods are known to survive longer and also have better mental and physical fitness. So that answers the question. And uh, I'm not uh, agreeing with Srinivas Mohan when he says uh, better to avoid sex after menopause. No, no such thing. Can, in fact, uh, I'm my own example. My, my, my wife had menopause a long time back, but we still have it. And I don't think it's a contraindication. There are some uh, beautiful jokes about sex and uh, some good, clean jokes, of course. And. Uh, of course, if you can understand some of them, it's really hilarious because uh, I'm able to relate to many things, especially Elamandar Ramshiti <laughs> and uh, Anthony Shea, Harin Chittapalli. So many people have got uh, 50 credits each because of their hilarious comments on this subject. And then there are uh, there are a few th serious things also about uh, sex regarding biology of sex. Why do insects eat up their mates after their mating is over, like the black widow spider? And there have been some interesting examples, I mean, uh, explanations for this. But uh, exam the one thing is we don't know exactly. And there's an MRI which showed gamma. Unfortunately, we think syphilis is gone, but we have seen cases of syphilitic aneurysms recently. And after the advent of HIV, syphilis also has gone up. Of course, most of syphilis, no, so far no resistance to penicillin has been detected. So syphilis continues to be present if you are not, if, and sometimes it may even progress to secondary and tertiary syphilis. Of course, in our, when we were doing medical college, when we were in MBBS or MD, we used to see a lot of uh, patients with the news of heart almost bursting out of the chest and uh, some people having GPI and some people having tebis to salis. This used to be a uh, very common diagnosis in those days when patients complain of lightning pains. The very definition of lightning pains come from there. And there's a picture of uh, Vishwamitra and Menaka about the importance of sex because uh, even the great rishis who used to concentrate on God and doing tapas also could not be uh, weaned away from sex. And similarly, there is sex between North and South Pole also. So there is some attraction between North and South Poles. And I don't know why. This is some question which has been plaguing me since school. And so far, uh, the explanation given has not uh, convinced me. I think there is still something more to what meets the eye. And uh, does your insight reveal by which side you sleep? Okay, this is great. Uh, maybe it is. But uh, I think most people advise you to speak on one side. And then I have, uh, I've been seeing some clips on, I mean, uh, TV episodes of Dr. House. I don't know how many people are great fans of this uh, unique doctor who actually makes a diagnosis its of top priority. And then we have uh, a very good looking members who joined us and uh, then the next week we have another medical riddle which on 20th October I, can, I created one riddle and this is a little difficult of course. Forged inside the white cell a maiden name does tell together tied by bonds double pop in if there is any trouble. So is it is a cytokine. I mean, that day the discussion was about uh, interleukins and this is also a uh, sort of cytokine which is linked to interleukins but unlike interleukin it's not a protein but it's made from arachinoic acid like it's like a fatty substance lipid like 
So this is the leukotriene, it is the answer because it is forged inside the white cell. Unlike the interleukin, which is actually manufactured with so many other cells other than leukocytes. And uh, it, it is, there are always three bonds. That's why it's called triene, leukotriene. I mean, the three bonds, three double bonds. And in case of any trouble, there's in case of any inflammation, they pop up, uh, they appear. And then there's an excellent uh, post by Ainala Prabhakar, which is a post of the day, which compares the nebula with the human eye, death of a star with the birth of a cell, and the whole universe, if it's taken up in some telescopes, it appears like a brain anatomy, neuroanatomy. So this comparison is something which is really, something which we can't explain. I mean, uh, it's really great. That post uh, was the best post of the day for that. And then there are uh, other uh, posts on that day. And then there's the, on October 19th, another uh, tough credit, tough uh, riddle I composed. Uh, because uh, that day the, the post was on cortisol or steroids. So corticosteroids. So, this is the same, this is the answer is cortisol. You know, cortisol is the main uh, corticosteroid that's desecrated by adrenal cortex in case of stress. The riddle is if you are low, so am I. That means if you are depressed, your patient is depressed, the cortisol levels are low. And for paradoxically, even if the patient is in a manic state, that means the patient has uh, the other end of the spectrum, like the bipolar disorder, even then, it's low. And it douses the fire, that means an anti-inflammatory cytokine, or a hormone, and calm your ire. It also, when it's given to patients who are very high, which means very angry or something like that, it, dec it, it composes them. And if I am high, memories die. That means if cortisol is very high, then it is known that uh, memories can be affected. So that is a riddle which was probably not answered. Anyway, and then uh, I was asking about the anthropic principle in physics. There are so many replies, whether it's really scientific or not. And then uh, the brain teaser of that day was a circle of stones never in rows, stacked in one on the other, misty each source. What is it? Many people answered uh, Stonehenge, but that's the official answer. But many people came up with some of the brilliant answers. And Lakshmanji has got a very brilliant uh, historical answer from Afzal Khan, which I didn't know anyway, although I had visited that place in Pune where he, he was defeated by Shivaji. Anyway, it's very, thank you very much, Shivaji Guru, for your excellent, uh, excellent answering. Okay. And... Uh, Although we click no response coming as redirecting, oh my god, there's some problem with the Facebook. Maybe they have downgraded our group and they don't want us to participate or something like that. Anyway, I'm glad that uh, you can just communicate to me through comments, probably. That's the only way that I try to copy the URL and then uh, posted them here. But still, the same thing is coming, I don't know why. I want. I wish you could participate directly by. Again, I posted the link. Let us see if you can get. Please click on the link again. I request uh, our members, and then maybe you can enter and participate in the discussion. And then uh, we come to the October the third Wednesday probably, and uh, there's an interesting. story about uh, MRI being uh, conducted on a pre, what is it called, uh, if, what, um, portable MRI, because this is difficult to comprehend, I don't know whether this can do the work of an MRI, because we need very strong magnets to do this, and uh, Japanese scientists successfully created an MRI machine that can record your dreams and reconstruct them for you to watch while you are awake, really, it looks so uh, I mean, uh, it's so out of the world, uh, I can't believe it. Of course, any evidence share? No, we don't know. Not much of evidence. 
these times uh, we are having very good uh, replies to this post called caption contest here i post one this is only to increase the creativity and uh, uh, i know that we have many poets in our group and it's a time for their but instead of a poem corner i thought we can give a, give them a topic to talk about so here we have a uh, lot of poems and a lot of uh, humorous and as well as very nice uh, comments about a uh, lady bathing a child so that was one of the posts and later there was a topic a medical uh, post about the power of emotional memory what is emotional memory and how it affects our lives there's something to do with uh, psychology and uh, behavioral sciences and i think dr amesh rajan may or raj mahin will be very good at this i thought he would participate but i think he must be otherwise busy anyway he is the best uh, person who can behavior he is the expert on behavioral therapy on behavioral sciences then i of course uh, some of the spot the locations were easy this one is from kodaikanal all the some people have said maje hoti rampur and ramgaon village uttarakhand but padmaja bhushan mentioned it as kodaikanal yeah and even chaganti chaganti seems to roam the world and india and he seems to know everything every answer to every location so that was a post on that day <laughs> there's a large joke about uh, how we get getting blocked in on facebook because now facebook is being called meta or meta so we can no longer be called a 30 day ban in facebook jail it must now be referred to as meta pass of course i entered meta pass long time a few times recently because of no fault of mine i think it's all controlled by robots nothing to do about it i also talked to dr sheshagiri and takani who said uh, his uh, son actually works in facebook or something i mean shamla nori's granddaughter is working in meta and i requested her to kindly help us out and then there was uh, this uh, trickle quiz on uh, 18th of october i presented all my own cases this time so i thought uh, people will appreciate better if i can we recently got a uh, very good mri machine here three tesla and we get very good pictures of the brain now and i see here uh, 64 female patients presented with recurrent vertigo and headache and occasion episodes of abnormal behavior you can see that this patient actually has multiple sclerosis and she has evidence of uh, lesions in white matter which are causing her to get vertigo and sometimes she may even she may even land up with uh, optic problems optional other problems also later on and ecg so it has been missed by so many people this is uh, an ecg taken of uh, 70 year old female who had a heart rate of around 150 normally but occasionally it's lapsing into a bradycardia or a normal rhythm sinus rhythm and then again it's going to svt so this sort of uh, sinus brady tacky syndrome is uh, missed many times and people mistake it for some other cause and here it is this type of svt cannot be connected corrected by just giving uh, adenosine or isoptin iv or dilzomide this has to be given this these patients actually need uh, long term anti arrhythmic medication and actually most of the times it's not a killer and patients can uh, we can control the rate with beta blockers and probably by giving calcium blockers also like diltezam and here is a example of uh, a ct scan of a patient who had come with dyspnea and epigastric pain and the daughter was actually a doctor and as she went to a surgeon and they went to a gastroenterologist and they couldn't identify the lesion so i thought uh, ct scan would be preferable and to my surprise uh, the patient had calcific pancreatitis 
and all of you have diagnosed this and I'm very glad and many people have got the credits for this. Another case, uh, patient actually presented with lower limb pains. I mean, this patient was actually referred to me by an orthopedic surgeon for cardiac clearance because he was also hypertensive and diabetic. But uh, his presentation was bilateral leg pains. But the lesion was the neck, not in the lumbosacral area, as you'd have expected. And lesions are quite evident in C3, C4, C5, C6 with the disc prolapsing and compressing the cord. You know, the cord has been compressed and the patient is actually having uh, upper motor neural lesion of lower limb because jerks are increased and plantars are upgoing. So, this is another interesting case that I presented that day. And another patient uh, for infective endocarditis was answered correctly by Dr. Madhusudan Garu and uh, vegetation garden and uh, this this the color doppler you can see the vegetations on the mitral valve especially the anterior mitral valve and uh, the contraction of the left ventricle is good then uh, another ecg I had given which uh, is a 35 female who had underwent who underwent mitral valve replacement in narayana hudayalaya bangalore in 2014 as presented with uh, Actually, she came with uh, vague symptoms like giddiness and her BP was 90 by 70. And when I taken the ECG, it was showing this fibrillatory or fluttery waves. The, this is a case of atrial flutter, which was correctly diagnosed by only two people, Girish Baskar and uh, Kasturi Metapalli. I am really congratulate uh, both of them for making the correct diagnosis of the ECG. And the diagnosis of herpes zoster is, of course, quite straightforward. And then we get to the next uh, day of our uh, riddles. The medical riddle that day was not that difficult if you remember the theme of the day. The theme of the day was actually regarding gold therapy in uh, certain conditions. So precious metal inside, none precious outside. Born as twins, only one wins. As a remedy bedside, been tested and tried. So uh, many people are only thinking of uh, gold and Platinum, gold, but never nobody thought of platinum. I don't know why, because cisplatin is a very common drug which is given by oncologists in chemotherapy to treat solid cancer. So cisplatin actually occurs in two isomers. It's a cisplatin and transplatin, and only cisplatin is affected. That's why I said born as twins, only one wins. So that means only one of them is affected. So it has been tested and it has been proved that cisplatin works and it has been given even now and of course uh, uh, some back to basics why gold is so go so sought after for its value and a little regarding the economics of gold and there's a riddle what flies around all day but never goes anywhere i think uh, they actually the best answer is by vegetation Srinivasan. it is thought that's a one wonderful answer and uh, likewise, uh, there was one uh, joke or uh, humor corner. Heated gold is called ornament. Beated copper is called wire. Compressed carbon is called diamond. Heated, beaten, and compressed person is called husband. <laughs> so many wife jokes, anti-wife jokes. Of course, I'm not exactly in favor of these anti-wife jokes. But anyway, just to make the... Uh, with the best uh, reply was by Mamillipalli Vijay Lakshmi Pangaru Nagala Kanna Viluvena Vajram Viluvena Jatagad Ni Jeevithi Bhav Swamiga Lakshaga Aparupanga Anuragam to I'm sorry I'm by Telugu is bad Anuragam to Chuskoka Nagalu Chirlu Kalamani Dhanam Mullu Poyamani Pichitalpul Vaduku Vilukavi Bhariyamani That was a very great poem in Telugu and uh, also she had given the translation and I think she got the prize and uh, yeah it is really hilarious some of these also some of the poems that were posted are simply superb and then uh, there is one very difficult uh, question the daily spotter which was given and uh, this is actually a case of psoriatic arthritis. And Madhusudan Raghur has given exact uh, appearance of the 
flanges, the terminal flanges, uh, that's called uh, penicillin cup appearance. This is a very typical appearance of psoriatic arthritis. And uh, unfortunately, psoriatic arthritis is much more common than we realize. And uh, that is given. And then, of course, on 18th, I think exactly one week now, 18th, the medical password was given a little late Tuesday, I think, because I had to prepare it. Only 17 down is there. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I was wrong. Anyway, the clues were given, and uh, most of them got the answer except one word but the uh, by doing the crossword you can also get uh, you will refer to the Google and you will get more information about the topic on uh, which is uh, intended to be the, the topic of the crossword puzzle the theme of the crossword puzzle and then we have some hilarious comments and all given and then at first I go up and take a pen I send before I start to descend as I terminate I bifurcate if I swell tear or burst it's your end and this is of course an iota and as you know iota first goes up as ascends and then bends the arch and then descends descending iota so if there is a aneurysm or dissection or aneurysmal rupture then it may cause immediate death so that the that was solved by many people i think upendra srinivas has also given a, a, an alternative reply i think that is a great uh, out of the box thinking again and he was also given some what are called uh, debut credits because those who have participated in this first and then uh, there's something I come from a mine and I'm surrounded by wood I help others to express what am I this is a brain tweezer on 17th of October and uh, the most creative answer was uh, probably by Om Prakash Gupta he had uh, answered it in a very clever way he I think he said something like this photo frame yeah is the right answer is pencil of course that's the official answer but even even a photo frame also does express something and so it is surrounded by wood so he got the award on that day so what i'm looking for is for something which is not there right in the books this caption for this uh, photograph which is a uh, lot number of people holding up their cell phones towards a uh, kind of light which is probably moon because it is too it's not very bright so it's still dark on that day and so are they capturing the moon's uh, eclipse I don't know but many people have given a lot of uh, comments 56 comments this is probably the best com the largest number of comments for a single question and uh, the best prizes went to I think I'm not sure who got the prize, but whoever got it deserved it. There's so many of them. And then sometimes I give more than one prize. And there's a very interesting uh, post about a buffalo and a boy sitting on it, stand ha happily sleeping on his back. That rich, richest person in the world. <laughs> so yeah, the rich, richness is not just having money, but also having content and there are a few more very beautiful people and this is the this is for today and I request you to give me feedback about what happened and I have I again wish you all a very happy Diwali tomorrow and uh, I wish to see all of you and I'd like to interact with you uh, in a more uh, in a better way, I don't know how to do that. I will figure it out. And then probably I may have to do something here. I don't know. Open a new tab, pop out, removable module. I don't know. There's so many things that uh, are here. I don't know. If somebody can help me, then 
I look grateful. And it's already past my time, I think. I bid goodbye to you all and it is... I thank everyone, I am also typing, for having participated in the discussion. And I request you to kindly give me any feedbacks. Give me any feedback. And also, if uh, wish you happy Diwali, sir, made it convenient to organize a group meet in January. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is something uh, which I want to tell you. Uh, if we don't go out of the country, because I might go, but in case I am in the yeah, we're planning for a meet and uh, we also have another meeting for in Pondicherry, I told Dr. Venkatesh and Srinivasan. Uh, we have an alumni association meeting of Jipma students and so this year I'd like to uh, probably sometime shortly after the festival because during festival that is we are here in Randa Pradesh in January Sankranti is called Vidya Pandaga that means the biggest festival. So many people uh, or they go back to their homes and villages and they are busy and even our staff members are not there. So maybe I, sometime after 20th or 25th or something like that, we can arrange it and I will announce it shortly. So I would like to also meet all of you again and uh, of course I should give advance intimation to those people who would like to come. So. I now take leave of you. I think uh, we have reached uh, as many as 36 comments have come and I am really glad that this time a lot more people have participated. But if I can figure out how to involve others also to come and talk and let them also give their comments live on video, and then it will be very good. So I thank you all and I wish you happy Diwali and I, this is Dr. Ankala Vinkateshwara Subbarao signing off from Rajamandri. Goodbye, good night, all the best.